hello everyone. Today I'm very excited to have Sane and Elliot with me. Hi. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. And we are going to talk about uh, circular business models and how those can be uh, enabled by connected products. So can you tell us how do you see it happening and what role do digital technologies play in that? Yeah, sure. We believe that the circular industries need to be entirely connected industries. Obviously, we all would like to see our future without any waste and transform our current uh, take make waste system. Ideally, we would have a new system where we could keep products in use, where we could reuse resources and materials and keep circulating them across different lifetimes. And nobody can do it alone. It requires a lot of collaboration uh, uh, across different supply chains. And digital technology has a very important role to play to connect those loops, to make them circular and connected, uh, to have efficient operations. Uh, and obviously it is also about the business model. It's a business model innovation that is required for these operations to be put in place. I hear, but can they provide solutions to the challenge of circularity too? Yes, absolutely. Um, but this is not a one trick pony. Um, the challenge with circular business models is that they have to be functional, feasible, and eventually profitable. It's really about designing a business model that supports your circular operations. You can take a few examples such as circular supply chains enabled by data intelligence. This data can help us track materials, orchestrate reverse logistics, and it's particularly relevant in the fields of decentralized productions and room manufacturing. When we talk about circular economy, we also like to talk about product life cycle and using techniques such as preventive maintenance, remote monitoring, and even remote uh, on-demand technician help. We can really positively influence those products' life cycles. Other opportunities lie in industrialized assets, where AI models, for instance, can help us identify the right consumptions in terms of energy of those assets, as a result also positively influencing their uh, lifetime. It's really about those new business models, product as a service being one of them that focuses around sharing platforms, but also around subscription models where you could pay per use or according to the business app. And how companies can be successful with it? Mostly it affects mostly the product centric companies. Obviously for a circular business model to be successful, we need products that can enable those circular and connected loops. So first of all, it's about connected products that can promote and enforce different sustainable practices, whether it's about the product use or reuse or sharing or putting uh, back into the circulation at the end of the lifetime. And second of all, it's about circular operations and circular supply chains uh, where uh, we have to address operations starting from manufacturing until recycling and remanufacturing. Yeah. And, and for that to happen, we need a combination of technologies. It's not only one technology that's going to solve it. It can obviously be data that allows us to plan and then put in place uh, efficient operations, but it's also blockchain that can allow us to give digital identities, uh, enable smart contracts and, and have traceability in place. Uh, it can also be different connectivity solutions, cloud computing, and obviously IoT. It's a combination of technologies that will provide a total solution. Yeah, and because every situation is different, we like to co-innovate uh, using different technologies, such as Zani just mentioned, but also different kinds of circular models that could best fit your circular operations and positively impact your profitability. And that's not even mentioning the new ways that circular business models allow you to interact with customers and decreasing your churn rate and increasing your ability to innovate. This data really gives you new insights and allows you to experience your products through your customer's eyes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think there are many different ways how we can uh, design and operate circular business models. Uh, so we would like to invite you to challenge your business model and start a journey to create a circular business model uh, together with us. Okay, thank you very much for your insights. It was very interesting and let's circular together. Yes, thank you for thank having you. us.